In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Lord. So for this Mass, we pray for those who have died, especially Monico Villaray for his first death anniversary. We also pray for the death anniversary of Candida Alcantara. As we come to pray together and worship together in the presence of God, so we ask His mercy and His forgiveness. I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have grieved my thoughts and my words, and what I have done, and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, your Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord God. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the first book of Maccabees. The commissioners of King Atticus who were enforcing the apostasies came to the town of Modem to make the Israelites sacrifice. Many Israelites gathered round them, but Matachas and his sons drew apart. The king's commissioners then addressed to Matachas as follows. You are a respected leader, a great man in this town. You have sons and brothers to support you. Be the first to forward and conform to the king, king's decree, as all of the nations have done, and the leaders of Judah and the survivors in Jerusalem. You and your sons shall be reckoned among the friends of the king, and your sons shall be honored with gold and silver and many presents. Raising his voice, Matachas retorted, even if every nation living in king's dominions obeys him, it's of, of forsaking its ancestral religion to conform to the decrees. I, my sons and my brothers, will still follow the covenant of our ancestors. Heaven preserve us from forsaking the law and its observance. As for the king, king's orders, we will not follow them. We will not swerve from our own religion, either to the right or to the left. As he finished speaking, a Jew came forward in the sight of all who offer sacrifice on the altar in Modem, as the royal edict required. When Matachas saw this, he was fired with zeal, stirred to the death of his being, he gave vent to his legitimate anger, threw himself on the man and slaughtered him on the altar. At the same time, he killed the king's commissioner who was there to enforce the sacrifice and tore down the altar. In his seal for the law, he acted as Pinehas did against Simri, son of Salo. Then Matachas went through the town, shouting at the top of his voice, Let everyone who has a favor 
for the law and takes his stand for the covenant, come out and follow me. Then he fled with his sons into the hills, leaving their possessions behind in the town. At this, many were concerned for virtue and justice went down to the desert and stayed there. The word of the Lord. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. The God of gods, the Lord, has spoken and summoned the earth. From the rising of the sun to its setting, out of science, perfect beauty, he shines. To the upright, I will show the Summon before me my people, who made covenant with me by sacrifice. The heavens proclaim his justice, for he, God, is the judge. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Pay your sacrifice of thanksgiving to God, and render him your motive offerings. Call on me in the day of distress. I will free you, and you shall honor me. Please stand. <coughs> Alleluia, Alleluia. If today you hear this voice, harden not your heart. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. From the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, Lord. As Jesus drew near Jerusalem and came in sight of the city, he shed tears over it and said, If you in turn <clears throat> have only understood on this day the message of peace, but alas, it is hidden from your eyes. Yes, time is coming when your enemies will rise fortifications all round you and when they will encircle you, him you in, on every side. They will dash you and the children inside your walls to the ground. They will leave not one stone standing on another within you. And all because you did not recognize the opportunity when God offered it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Lord Jesus it's not so common in the New Testament or in the Gospel that would tell us clearly the emotions of Jesus Christ. And today's Gospel from St. Luke, Jesus was walking, traveling, and when he's near Jerusalem, when he can see the holy city from a distance, he shed tears over the city. The tears of sadness, the tears of anguish of what would happen to this holy city, the center of Israel, the center of religion. In the heart of Jesus, in the mind of Jesus, he would say, if only the people of Jerusalem would choose the path of peace, if only these people would listen to the Son of God, if only these people would believe in the Son of God, who is the Prince of Peace. Jesus can foresee the destruction of the Jewish temple and the destruction of the holy city of Jerusalem by the Roman invaders in the year 70 AD. In our time, possibly Jesus continues to shed tears when our government leaders, political leaders of the nations, threaten each other to wage war instead of embarking the path of peace and the path of harmony. Jesus continues to shed tears when there is violence when there is anger in our hearts. In the words of Pope Francis, the path of peace calls us to a common commitment to protecting and promoting the dignity and good of all. 
A path of peace involves a willingness to show a care and compassion, to work for reconciliation and healing, to advance mutual respect and acceptance. Our first reading from the book of Maccabees is full of violence and it's bloody. But uh, hopefully each one of us, we choose the path of peace and the path of Jesus Christ. Turning in our prayer to God the Father, who from generosity of his heart, he sent his son Jesus Christ to be the Prince of Peace. We pray that the people of God, nourished by this Eucharist, we unite to persevere in our lives of faith and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our that through the worthy reception of the Eucharist, we may deepen our love for one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that those who are sick in mind and body may be strengthened by the receiving the body and blood of Christ in the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that the dead may share in the Lord's promise of heavenly banquet. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For our own personal needs and personal intentions of this time, in silence we pray. Them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Loving God, guide us in our journey. Help us to walk in the path of your Son Jesus, who is the bread of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Bless the Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of your hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless the Lord Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God. The Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of the Holy Spirit for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that we offer in the sight of your majesty, may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you, and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. up your hearts. The Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent us our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, stretch out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bands of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Blessed 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, he broke it. Give it his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for men for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, yet you have held us worthy to be in your presence and ministered to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, O Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Vincent our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we are married to be cures of eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray the prayer that Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth and charity. 
We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you.